sometimes my dark humor comes out. I'm like, you know, I I had to use that. Yeah, to cope for a lot of things. Because your job, like we were saying just before this, I mean, you you, you had to match mm -hmm. records. Yep. With somebody who who may or may not have passed in one of many ways mm -hmm. overseas, flown into the Air Force Base, mm -hmm. and, and now you're taking the dental records, like you'd said, from the past. Because mm -hmm. and everybody in the military is going to the dentist yes. once or twice and a that's, year. And that's why it's required for the military to go because they have to have your pre mortem mm -hmm. records in case something does happen. So yeah. when you, I don't know, you deploy, I don't absolutely. know if they may, you have to go to the dental. Oh, absolutely. So that's a checklist, a requirement for you to go to dental, get your x-rays updated because if something were to happen, yeah. we have to match them post-mortem. Yeah, we actually so. do it twice. We do it locally and then when we got to El Paso mm -hmm. for our like pre-deployment, mm -hmm. hey, get used to the hot weather. Yeah. Um, we had three weeks and they had us do it again just yep. to, I guess, make sure we had the same yeah. teeth. <laughs> but with that, I mean, you're probably getting everybody from someone who looks like they passed of natural causes mm -hmm. to people that probably don't look like people. Oh, yeah. 